Hello, Mind of McCorkle presents Ask McCorkle, where we dive into current events, answer questions, and give life advice, all from the undead perspective. Today's current event, COVID, and I know it's everywhere. If you're anything like me, you were tired of hearing about it after a day or two, and it's been over a year. So let's get right into it. Personally, I don't have to worry about COVID because I'm undead, so I can't get a virus. So this whole time, while, it, while everyone else who's alive has been worried about it, I couldn't give a rat's ass. As for the pandemic itself, I find it interesting that there aren't more deaths. Think about it. How many people do you know personally that have died? Or how many people do you know personally who personally know someone who has died from COVID? If it was a true epidemic, a true pandemic, those numbers would be astronomically high. They'd be mind boggling. And it's been attributed that it is the lockdown, the cloth masks, and the social distancing of six feet apart that have stopped the spread of this killer virus. Maybe, but a cloth mask to stop a virus is ridiculous. Lockdown drove people nuts. And the six-foot distance, well, that's just prudent. Stay out of my space. And I have no doubt that the virus exists. But I don't know if it was as deadly as we were led to believe, based on the evidence of the death toll. Today's question is a subset of vampire health, and that is, do vampires have to monitor their fiber intake? Are vampires concerned about regularity? If you're talking about regular bowel movements, vampires don't eat. We consume blood to keep our corpses animated, but we don't have metabolic functions. We don't have digestion. So if we do eat something, it just sits there. Now, we can preternaturally get rid of it, either, you know, whenever we want, either right away or we can wait, because what goes in must come out. But we don't have to worry about regular bowel movements. Interesting question. But the answer is no. And for today's life column taken from Yahoo Answers, and because I didn't write down who asked it, still completely anonymous, the question is, is being in an unhappy marriage still a success compared to being happy and single? Well, I guess that depends on your definition of success. If your definition of success is to simply be married, to have that ring and that marriage certificate, then I suppose being in an unhappy marriage is more successful than being happily single. However, mental health experts have said it is better to be single than to be in a bad relationship which an unhappy marriage would be. And you don't have to be a mental health professional to know that happy single is better than unhappy married. So if mental health is important to you, 
and you don't want to be considered an, an idiot, then happy single is always going to be more successful than unhappy married. That was it for today. If you do enjoy my point of view and what I say, then I suggest that you go to Amazon and check out my books. Anti-Guru are the books that I've written. Hunter Vampire is the book about me. There is a link in the description below. Check it out and buy something if you like what you've heard today. If you would like me to answer your questions or give you life advice from the, from the perspective of the undead, please do comment below and I will get to them. Either way, please like, share, and subscribe. This has been Ask McCorkle, and I will talk at you soon.